Hey, Facebook family, what are you doing today? It's Randy. Told you I'd come back here live with another uh, another broadcast this week, as promised. Anyway, th today I want to talk about uh, morning routines. You know, I've been kind of obsessed, actually, about morning routines as of late. Because, you know, when we went to the Tom Perry Conference down in uh, Palm Desert, Tom Ballou, which he's a, an animal, he's amazing, I keep talking to all these high powered producers that literally um you know they are some of the elite minds of both the industry and and what else is uh, going on in, in business and they all have these powerful morning routines and i've been into morning routines for about a, a year now and hey tim and deborah how you doing thanks for joining us so I'd love to hear from you what your morning routine is. You know, for me, it's getting up early enough to really sit down and, you know, it's funny, meditating, I don't know what meditating is, I gotta be honest. It, it's more like quiet thinking. And then Tom Ballou said, thinkitating. I go, I love that, that's me. Because I can't quiet my little ADD brain down enough to meditate by any stretch, but I would love to. I honestly would would find value in that, but for me, it's not that. It, for me, it's really um, just quieting down the noise in between the ears so I could focus on uh, what I'd like to accomplish that day. So for me, that's an that's a important piece of it. I turn on a little music and I, you know, it's so foo-foo for me to talk about, I got to be honest with you. I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd be talking about meditating live on Facebook. But I found so much power in it. And, you know, it took several people that I look up to. Tom Ferry, Tom Ballou, Anthony Robbins, Rob Deerdick did a, you know, from Ridiculousness, did an interview with, with uh, Tom Ballou that I watched this morning, and it was mind-blowing. And here's this guy that you picture as a stoner skateboarder. You know, that's really what he is and what he does. And here he was talking about how he really goes deep to get, you know, in meditative state to really have clarity and and I was like, man, okay, I can I can embrace this now because some of my idols are saying they do it. But for me, quite frankly, it's more of a thinkitate. It's more of quieting the brain enough to get clarity in some areas and asking the question of what it is going on. So I'd love to hear from anybody that's on today. You know, what are you doing as a morning routine? You don't have to say you meditate. I mean, if you want a big bear hug like me and don't admit that, I get that. But Tell me what you do in a morning routine. For me, it's reading five to ten pages of a great book, something inspirational, motivational. For me, it's bringing in a video that is inspiring to me. I watch a lot of Tom Ferry videos. A lot of you know I coach with Tom Ferry International. Love that. Have uh, some amazing clients. I've been coaching all day today, probably why I'm fired up. Um, I'm a little bit wired from the ketone diet that Deborah's got me on. I got to say, I, I'm starting to get kicked in with the ketosis and feeling feeling great. But, um, you know, I'm normally a wiry guy anyway, but I get really fired up on my coaching days. And I've had literally probably 13 clients back to back to back today. But I'd love to hear from you. What do you do as a morning routine or do you do a morning routine? Because this this fascinates me. Uh, how this keeps coming up with top top minds, um, and and what you know what happens with the morning and setting up the day when you do do it like that, right? So thank you. I see Josh just joined. So you know Josh, Anthony, Tim, anybody, do you do morning routines first of all? Respond into it and let me know if you do. I got a client calling me right now. We're gonna gonna talk as soon as we're done with Facebook Live. He probably saw me on Facebook Live and called me. Camille, thanks for joining. How you doing? Hey, I know I can count on Camille. Camille, do you do morning routines on a daily basis? Can you reply and let us know? Because I'm curious. For me, my morning routines have really changed the landscape of how my day is established. For me, so what I'll do is I'll go through my, you know, my workout in the morning, even if it's short. And um, there's a great book um, that I read recently. I'm gonna, it escapes me now, and I'll think about it in a minute. But it's about morning routines, and what it talks about is really you could break it down into like six minutes, where you're doing one minute of meditation, one minute of exercise, and moving your body, one minute of reading a book, and you could do this even moving throughout, um, you know, traveling and things like we do a lot. So for me, that's something that I've really been, you know, focused on is that that morning routine and, and bringing discipline to it. So for me, 
like I said, what, what my morning routine looks like is getting up, I make my coffee, try to try to go all organic, do the best I can with that to get my, my brain right, and then sit down and first live in gratitude and list down the five or ten things that you're grateful for. And this is a powerful for one because, you know, I have these big visions of five and ten year things I want to accomplish. I, I have, and this is not a, an ego or bragging thing. It's just, it's, it's more of a, a, a weakness of mine. I have four or five businesses that I, I'm engaged in or I want to do from building houses to real estate to coaching to, you know, other things that I aspire to be doing. And so for me, it's really important for me to get in gratitude with that because if we're not in gratitude with that, then it's really hard for us to stay focused on why we do it. What's the big picture? and What's the big why, right? So again, throughout the day, I've been asking my clients, what's your morning routine? And without, without exception, it looks like we have working out, we have gratitude comes up a lot. Um, we have obviously a discipline of eating correctly, eating by seven in the morning or eating correctly by a certain time in the morning. So like I talked about, I'm going to be doing a weekly, uh, you know, live webinar to talk about some of these things that I see highly successful people doing and, and what we could do to, um, you know, share that amongst the wealth of the community. Uh, thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. Looking good. You too, baby. Hey, Matt, thanks for coming on. Tell me, do you do morning routines? I have a question for the audience. Do you do morning routines as in to prep for your day currently? And Deborah said, what advice would you give to someone who wants to start a morning routine? That's a great idea uh, or a great uh, input, Deborah. Thank you. What I would do, frankly, is just pick two or three things that are going to increase your awareness, increase your vibration, increase your attitude and, and your outlook, right? So a lot of times we'll be in a time that we're, you know, there's struggling things. You get up, you got, whether it's Monday and you got the whole week ahead of you or whatever it is, but what about if you sat down, read something that inspires you, read something that motivates you. If you're going for uh, something in your life, what about something that reminds you of that, right? And Matthew said, uh, gym phones and email, right? So that, that could be something that you do. Uh, my morning routine used to, uh, consist of checking all my email, but I realized that that screwed my mind up before I got my mind right. So now I don't check email until any of all my morning routines done because you get that bomb email that, you know, something fell out or something's going wrong or whatever. So for me, morning routine could simply be just a couple things that are going to bring your emotional, you know, state up. Um, reading a great book that inspires you, watching a video is super powerful, YouTube or a video. Um, if you're a real estate agent, Tom Ferry, uh, Brian Buffini, some of these guys got Mike Ferry, got great content that you could plug into to get your mind right about what you're going to accomplish that day. And for me, it opens it up and allows me to really, you know, to be disciplined and know that I'm, I'm doing the right things for my goal. Ashton Kutcher um, is a, a big inspiration of mine. Will Smith, he's one of my favorite ever. Will Smith said he, in his morning routines, he does a mantra and talks a lot about uh, you know, what he wants to accomplish that day. But he has this story I love. He says, if you put me on a treadmill with anybody on this planet, I will win. And I will win not because I'm in better shape. It's because I have a bigger heart than they do. I am willing to die on that treadmill rather than lose. And that's just how he ran through his life. So, you know, that inspires me. That kind of message and video inspires me. There's a million ones with, uh, with Jim Carrey talking about how he – folded up a $10 million check and put in his wallet and it sat there and corroded and decayed and, and just fell apart over all these years. But then three years later, after he wrote the date on the check, he received $10 million for Dumb and Dumber. That kind of stuff fires me up, frankly. Matter of fact, I'm just fired up sitting here talking to you all today. So, you know, as I leave and I, and I pre Matt, he's, I appreciate you saying I got a 10 times planner uh, from Grant. My days are planned every minute, every day. That's powerful, you know, and I got to say, Matt, you'll love this. Um, uh, I think it's Jeff Bezos from Amazon was recently asked to in, uh, speak at some engagement. And said, I, he said, I can't. I got stuff going on right now. And as I relate the story in, in complete integrity, try to remate, relate it the best I can. But he says, I can't do it right now. I have something going on. And, and they're like, OK, we totally understand that. You know, so the head guy with Amazon. And he says, what do you have going on? And he goes, well, um, I'm actually trying to perfect brushing my teeth. And, you know, you kind of laugh and think about that, thinking he's being kind of an ass or tongue in cheek. But he literally broke down 
every piece of his day to the minutes that are most important. And Matthew, I'm going off you right now, planning every minute every day. That's that's a tough one to do, but think about if your life was worth a million dollars a minute, like Bill Gates or Amazon or somebody like that, how purposeful you would have to be about showering, brushing your teeth, and the basic things that go on during your day. So for me, the morning routine thing is big. I'd love to share it with anybody that has any questions or anything as we progress. But, you know, um, find a morning routine. If, if, if this suits you, I'm not, I'm not shooting this on you. You know, I kind of make fun with that. I'm not shooting it on you. You shouldn't do anything you don't want to do. But think about the power if you, if you were purposeful about a morning routine, really focused on things that bring you up in spirit, bring you up in an elevation of personality and, and your belief system around things you want to accomplish, whether it's personal, professional, whatever it is, right? And then focused on those every single day to get to a point where you really loved that time, where you really wrote out 10 things you're grateful for. You know, I love that, writing 10 gratitude things. Try writing 20 or 30. It's crazy. You'll, you'll get like 15 down and you're like, I'm grateful for... I'm grateful for this green cup that I can drink out of. I'm grateful. It just gets silly because you run out of things that you believe you're grateful for. But really, it is important. Um, and, and reading something that inspires you and motivates you or a video of something every day is, is very powerful. And then, of course, being committed to your health, being physically. Start out small with jumping jacks, calisthenics, a couple weightlifting things, whatever it may be. Uh, you can do the ketone diet like Deborah's got me on. but. Um, I'm actually enjoying it. I got to be honest. I don't know anything about it. I, you know, well, that's another another show or another time. But anyway, I appreciate all of you. I got to get on a coaching call right now. I see him calling in. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye for now.